Yo, what's up guys? Today we're going to be showing you five secret sample making techniques that Qbeats are hiding from you. Let's get straight into it. Alright, first up we got half time. First we got some bells here from Analog Labs. Here's what it sounds like. Alright, it sounds pretty shit. So we're going to check some half time on there. Okay, magic. If you don't have the half time here that I've got from Cable Guys, you can use Gross Beat if you're on FL as an alternative. Works as the same thing. Make sure you're using half time as much as you can wherever you can. It sounds good on pianos, on bells, on mallets, lots of things like that. It gives it a Q Beatsy vibe. All right, number two, some simple rendering tricks. So, with these same bells we've got here, I'm going to show you how we rendered this out to make it sound like this. Okay, number one, when you're using VSTs, it's always good to render out the audio because it makes, if you're using the VST still, this is what it sounds like after the clip's over. And it carries on even after the piano roll stopped. When you render it out, it stops straight away. So it's just a good way to, to manage your tracks. After that, we've gone and pitched that up two semitones and these are the effects we put on an effect rack and EQ. Sounds so much better after it's been rendered to put a fix on than while you're doing it during the VST. It is fine to put a fix on the VST, but make sure you're doing it after you've rendered as well. So overall, rendering just gives the whole sample a more vintage effect and allows you to take the processing a lot further with what you can do with the effects. Alright, number three, we've got reversing. So we're going to show you the power of reversing, what it can do. Here we've got a plain piano, no effects, hasn't done any reversing, nothing. Here it is. We're not going to run you through the effects today. We're just going to add them in. Again, we've got half time like before. Already. Here's what it sounds like. It's a whole different vibe. We're going to render that out now. We're going to reverse it. So here's what we've got. Same thing as before. Render it. Now we're going to pitch that out. We're going to go three semitones. Reverse. Back. Sounding mint. We've taken that from a completely plain piano with no effects, no nothing, and we've turned that into a pretty cool little reverse melody. Alright, number four is time stretching. So here, we've got an ARP from Analog Labs, here's what it sounds like. Sounds pretty shit, not very good. As you can see here, we're at 117 BPM. We've gone and rendered that out, put this on stretch mode, and then we've sped it up to 131 BPM. So that's the first way of time stretching it. Getting into the VST at a slower BPM and then rendering it out, speeding it up, and it gives it a vintage effect, makes it sound pretty cool. Second way, I don't know if you can do this in other doors, but it works in FL. So you've got this little tool up here, the stretch tool. So you would click that when it goes white, and you can actually stretch it out to fit uh, two, four, eight bars, whatever you want to keep it in time. So originally, this is what it sounds like. We'll take off that reverb. So it's a sped up version of this. When we time stretch it out to eight bars, it gives it a half time effect and also just makes it a lot more q beatsy, we like to say. There's a whole different feel to it. So it's a really cool thing if I was added, obviously, and then we add reverb, gives it a space. So it's a really cool technique. All right, if you want context for how this fits into our sample, we're going to play that for you real quick. The sample is free. We're going to put the link in the description. Go get that. Very subtle, but it just brings the whole sample together, gives it a vintage feel, and it does sound better than this shit up here. Fifth and final technique, this is called chopping it up. How to chop up your samples. We've got a flute here, it works very well with flutes, it works well with anything, pads, pianos, bells, anything, makes it super q -beatsy. Here's our flute, here's what it sounds like, just in the VST, with no effects, no chops, anything.
It's not very good. But that's when we chop it up. We're gonna do a little tutorial here. First, you go here. Quick renders auto clip. There's a little tutorial for my FL boys. Let that render out. All right. All right, gonna click this little icon here. Drag it at the bottom. Gonna drag it straight in. Quickly, double tap, bang. Slicer. Fuck around with the attack a little bit. I don't know, just around here. Bang, right click. No, left click. Bang, beat. All right, you can see here, it's now come on, it's joined up to the original flute. Bang, split channel. Leave the flute there. <coughs> now we want. So, here are the chops. It's chopping us for us. This is what Qbeats do. This is the best secret. This is what we do in all our, all our samples. We're giving you our secret sauce here. So, here's what it sounds like with literally nothing else. So already, that flute has become so much better just by chopping it up and giving that Qbeats feel to that. We could stop there, but no, we're giving you all the sauce today. You export that out, you go click on here, quick renders audio clip again, gives you the export file again. This is rendering, this is using all the tips we've given you today, all the techniques. Bang, let that render out. We're gonna chuck that on a track now. So, bang on three, on three we've got reverb, EQ, simple. We've put no effects on this flute. We've chopped it up, added a reverb and an EQ. That's all we've done. Now, this is what it sounds like. Bang. If you want your samples to go from sounding like this to this, go cop the Utopia multi <laughs> Alright, today we've given you five secret techniques that are gonna make your loops sound super hard. If you're too lazy to do that with your own loops, go cop the Utopia Multi Kit. This loop, 27 others, drum kit, one shots, higher midis, everything you need to start making money as a producer. Go cop that, link in the description. Let's fucking go.